I kind of dropped him off at Think Geek. <laughs> <laughs> Drop me off. <laughs> well, you I stay d- in there, honey. I'll be right back. <laughs> Mommy's just got to go get some shoes. <laughs> Welcome back to the PG Unlimited Podcast. My name is Brett. I'm Josh. Alex. This is episode 77. I looked up 77, the okay. number, on Wikipedia. It's the most boring number out there. When are we ever going to get something good? Uh, well, you know, we just, we've just we already passed the good numbers. You know that, right? Well, what makes a number good? Well, yeah. <laughs> what it references to, I guess. Okay, so what's 77? Uh, the most interesting thing I saw was uh, 77 is the boiling point of nitrogen. Cool. Okay. Neat, right? Neat. Exactly. <laughs> science. Science. Yay, science. Yes. It's like science. <laughs> in other fields, uh, there's a uh, 77 Talking Heads debut album released in 1977. Yeah. Then the 77s is an American rock band. I don't know who they are. So your mom's probably going to kill me for saying that, right? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's all I had. There there was nothing. It was okay. Well, BS. you know what's uh, exciting is seventy seven is the seventy seventh episode of the PT Illuminated podcast. Yeah, it is. And that's going to go down in history. <laughs> <laughs> we we can make it that. Well, we can try. We can. Let's let's try. We can hope. <laughs> One can hope. So, uh, how was your weekend, Brett? Um, it was good. I didn't really do much. No, I was watching the Munchkin. I was like, wait a minute, what's the Munchkin? Is that a movie? <laughs> <laughs> I seriously no, thought it be, was. That would be Leela. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Who we... is obsessed with Moana? Oh, really? Obsessed. So you've watched that? I haven't watched it from start to end. You just seen But bits? I've seen all of it, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Just you don't know what part plays what? No, and I really, I mean, I kind of get the main gist, but mm-hmm. I don't really think I want to watch it from start to to end now because i'm just like you're over it yeah Yeah. it's kind of like me and finding dory because when i was visiting my family in missouri over labor day weekend my niece loves dory and that's all that they're that's all she played we probably watched finding dory like a couple times Mm -hmm. yeah more than a couple times exactly (laughs) it's it's but it's a good movie i like finding dory yeah it's kind of overplayed now you know only in your head (laughs) yeah exactly and and, well i mean it's yeah it is since it's on Netflix. It's it's so easily playable. You know, yeah. this is interesting conversation. This is interesting guys. conversation. How about we move on to what else? Anything else interesting, Brett? Happen? No. no, no. Well, we went out to uh, flashbacks on the landing. Oh, before you, I do Go have ahead. to say, I never said it, so I'll say it now. Happy birthday, Shane! Oh, there he said it. <laughs> oh, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we Alex and I went out to flashbacks for his uh, his birthday, and um. Nothing too crazy happened. I mean, it took us like two hours to find food at the end of the night. Yeah, Be- you, you did have that happen. Well, I mean, there was there was one surprising thing, though, is that it was packed. It was so it busy. Was, but I have never seen flashbacks ever. Anytime that we've ever gone, ever, this packed. Were the walls wet? No. I don't know. Why I'm would more, they be I wasn't wet? touching the walls. Because when a lot of people get together and it's really hot. I'm yeah. I'm sure it was. They were blasting and the, the AC. What, what the issue was, too, is that going outside to cool down... Didn't help. Didn't help because it was like 75 degrees outside. But <laughs> it's been very hot in the last few days here, I think everywhere, but especially in the Midwest. Mm-hmm. And it's cooling down for like a week. And, and then, then it's going to go right back up. Again. Mm-hmm. Yes, it 80 is. 80 in October. Yep. This is the... Uh, I think today... I was watching the news while I was eating. Today is the second hottest recorded day um, in 100 years. Wow. Um, for well, I, th- I think that was for Fort Wayne. Oh yeah, I'm looking at the weather here, and it's gonna go down. And I think over last night was record high. Well, I'm sure it was. So, but yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, no. So there, that was one thing is that it was packed pretty much body to body. There was three Jeez. wedding, three, th- at least I counted three brides. Usually there's one, maybe two. There's three, so there's all them. <laughs> Um, which I don't, I can see having like my, like an after party at flashbacks, like mm-hmm. after the reception, 
But all I kept thinking is that these girls have beautiful, big, white dresses on. And I'm like, do you know what is on this floor yeah. that you're dragging your dress on? Like, I had it's to help, so gross. I had to help the bride up onto the, the light. The, uh, the I had a bride fall on me off, off the stage. One bride, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, she she fell in. Uh, she had heels on, too. Was it the same one I helped up? I don't know. The brunette? That- and, uh, I don't remember what she looked like. She had the mm. big, the big yeah. poofy dress. Yeah, I had to help her up because she wanted to get up to the top of that. Uh, for for those who don't know what Flashbacks is, it is a 1990s, 80s kind of club. Dance, dance club. club. Dance club. And there's a, there's a dance floor and then there's risers. There's two. Pretty much. There's like, no, there's two risers. Is it two or three? Yeah, two. two. There's two? two. Yeah, okay, it gets two. The, like two stairs, <laughs> pretty <laughs> two. much. Like kind of surrounding the, the dance floor that you can get on and dance that's what um, it's for yeah <laughs> so um but yeah so i had her like she was getting down and she felt like and, and then she fell on me and then slid because the floor is soaked oh. in alcohol uh. and then she slid into my leg you and, never told me this well because I, I quickly like grabbed her i was like oh my god like <laughs> you gotta play mama bear <laughs> i know i was like sobered up for a second i was like oh are you okay the bride <laughs> the, the weird thing was there was no line in the bathroom that was the super weird thing. So because everyone's we, sweating when, out their yeah. Piss. When we go, <laughs> usually there's like a half an hour line. Like I, you have to sit there through about five or six songs before you can make it to the toilet. The 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 wait was to the bar. Oh sure. It took me and Rick an hour. An hour to get our own drinks. It's so busy. It was so it, busy. Like, and I, I went upstairs. Like, Josh left me downstairs with the with the group to for on the dance floor. And I think about five or six songs went by, and Shane was like, "Where's Josh?" I'm like, and I realized how many songs had gone by. Like, how all the typical songs we usually dance to. And I'm like, "Where the hell is he?" <laughs> so I like I I split off and I went back upstairs to find him. And going the upstairs bar was like. Oh, the, well, you know, when you first go up the stairs, it was packed from the stairs to the bar. It was so bad. So, and the downstairs one wasn't any, any better. No. How? What time did you get there? Uh, 11. Oh, 11, 11, 1130? We're on 1130, 11 30. Did 15. you close it? Yes. yes. We we were there for the <laughs> last song. Yeah. All this, like, we kind of wanted to stay because everyone was finally gone. Yeah. yeah. But what's funny is that when we're usually there, and there's almost like there's a comfortable amount of people there, and the dance floor is very like kind of sparse, like there's just little groups. This was the dance floor was the whole bottom of flashbacks was a dance floor. Yeah. Yes. And um. It, so and then the line like I, I went to I was like all right well I'm gonna go to the bathroom I'll be back in a half an hour and I went in there with Ashley and I was like we looked around I'm like there's three stalls in there I'm like and only one was in use I'm like didn't what, you get what what is this did you get <laughs> cheered for you for going to the bathroom okay the bad so yeah, stall? all right so I know you, I don't know if you want to talk <laughs> about that it's really disgusting but you know it, it doesn't matter anyway it's a bathroom so story it's, it's a bathroom no bathroom story I don't is clean. think we can talk we can't talk about flashbacks without talking about how disgusting the bathrooms are <laughs> um so or at least the women's so th- there's there's the one bathroom that goes it's it, it has some stairs it's almost like I don't know, you could fit like five people in it and it's got a stall in it. And um, and then there there's two more stalls. So I was wondering why the only one was being used and there was two girls waiting like, what's going on? And she's like, well, these two are just packed with toilet paper. I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, so I go yeah. up and I was like, how bad really is it? And I go into the one all the way to the right, which is the one with the stairs that has like could fit five people in it and it is overflowing with toilet paper. Like, uh, like here's the so seat bad. and the toilet paper is at least another half a foot out. Like people were just like pissing and I don't know if it just got clogged and pe- I don't know. So the second one, it was clogged with toilet paper, but it was like almost to the rim and I really had to go. So I was like, and there was another couple girls and I'm like, screw it. I'm going to hover anyway. <laughs> I'm not going to sit on the <laughs> toilet anyway. So I went in there and there were some girls going, you go girl, you can do it. You use the, <laughs> like they were saying like, you can hover. <laughs> like it was, I was like, don't make me laugh while I'm trying to pee. Yeah. <laughs> I know it was funny. And then I, I got, I, I opened up the, the stall afterwards and I, a couple of them were clapping. <laughs> That's so weird. Yes. But they were really drunk so oh and then on top of that so now there's no soap that was disgusting there was no soap yeah (laughs) so i had to like rinse my hands in really hot water Mm, (laughs) yeah so gross yeah Um, so yeah other than being like drenched in sweat (laughs) the whole night it was a fun time yeah i have a question for you brett and Mm -hmm. i'm gonna ask you as well alex so when you go to the bar and you and you get a drink if you don't know the server do you tip them and how much um what is your etiquette if you pay cash yes you tip them what's your standard if i don't know them 
Yeah. Well, Isn't it, it all, supposed to be like a dollar a drink? It depends on how much the drink is all that and too. how yeah. well they filled it. Okay. You know, which I shouldn't say. I mean, a lot of bartenders overpour if they know you're going to tip yeah. heavy. Oh, yeah. Like so, like our bartender that we just loved and yes. some, he He's disappeared. Gone. Don't know where yeah. he went. He's so, gone. <laughs> I, well, what, what were you drinking? Uh, the standard Morgan and Coke. So how much were they? Three. Three. So I'd probably give them a five. Wow. That's For every let, drink? To let them know that I'll take care of them, mm. especially... The new if they're if I don't know them. Are you talking like every drink? Well, at least or, the first one. Okay. <laughs> that's, maybe, that's pretty pricey. Maybe every other, depending on how many I was drinking. Okay. And if they recognize you and know what you're drinking, I mean, if they recognize you and know what you want, and they start doing it, that's when you're like, okay, they're in a rhythm. They know what they know me, and they know what I like. I guess I should say, if it was our bartender, I would give him a five for three dollars. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. would if, oh, it, yeah. if it was it's our one bartender. I don't yeah. know. And uh, you know, you know, it took them twenty minutes to get to me. Mm-hmm. Maybe a dollar. You know? Okay, but yeah, I get it. Yeah, that's about the same with me. It's about a dollar every other drink. Normally, it depends on if they know what I. Have. I would also, you know, I would consider, you know, depending on how long I was going to be there, give them a lump sum up front and say, "Here's a ten or a twenty oh, mm-hmm. for the night," and uh, you know take care you, of me I'll, I'll take care of you you take care of me exactly oh, okay. that's, i can see that's that quite a hefty tip alex yeah. never buys drinks yeah you can't ask me this question because i i don't i can't tell you the last time i bought my own drink well here's the <laughs> weird thing on saturday night i bought you and me a drink and i bought shane a couple shots uh-huh. shane didn't take them <laughs> Pussy. Well, I remember. I remember taking. You bought, you bought a lemon drop. I did them. lemon drop. The I know, most okay, simple but, shot. Okay, it's lemon juice and vodka. So nice. Uh, I think it's actually a lemon drop is just vodka, and then you suck on a lemon. Uh, it, well, you oh, can it's, it's get Bacardi Limon. Yeah. which is lemon no, vodka. No, every time I've taken a lemon drop, it's like straight vodka, just plain vodka, and then you get a lemon with it and you suck on it afterwards. Yeah, you do. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, the other times I had beverages in my hand, they were purchased by other people. I'm thank, thank well, you it was guys really, for that. It was really nice because people were going up and they saw how long the line were lines were, and then eventually they just started bringing down ordering like they go up and order two or three extra drinks and then just bring them down and be like here you guys go at one point <laughs> i had two rum and cokes in each hand yeah, i was and double fishing shane, i was like shane had two rum and cokes and I we eventually like know. couldn't dance we were just doing this <laughs> it's like I, I didn't i i was giving it away i was like someone take this other one i didn't buy it i don't know here have it we kept on trying to give it to shane we're like it's your birthday shane here you go and he's like no i can't hold all these drinks <laughs> why did you have two because, because people were people like, were buying like Rick the multiples and them were, like they were Morgan coming down and, and buying multiples yeah I yeah gotcha. like i was giving joe some money our friend joe and i was like here here's a here's some money go get me a drink i want this and alex wants this he's like no nah, screw it i'll get it i'll just get it don't worry about it and then the same thing happened with our friend rob and then we closed the night rob comes around with some tequila <laughs> no, <laughs> no not 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 just tequila Patron. Patron. Isn't that like the smoothest tequila? I, it's you a know, very high quality. It's a very tequila. high quality. That's what I thought. Pat- very high quality. Very- very high quality <laughs> patron. <laughs> so much I can't talk. <laughs> no, so it was like the end of the night, like the very end. So we'd already had an, I had already cut myself off. Everyone else, I think, had already you cut themselves off. And Rob's like, here are shots. And I'm like, oh, what is it? He's like, take it. And Rob is a big, like, tequila. Oh, he's drinker. big. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so he's like, I was like, oh, what is it? I took like a sip of it. I was like, uh, no, 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 no. This, this is straight. This is straight tequila. I can't do it. I just, I'm already like, uh, cannot do shots. For I all. took it. Ooh. You took, you took yours and then the other half of mine. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> like, I could, I could not. I could not stomach it. it. I took at least half of it, and I was pretty proud to say I at least took half of the shot. <laughs> yeah. Because I'd already had, um when we first started dancing, they came around with those... Uh, uh, oh, uh, the jello The Jell-O shots, um, yeah. but they were the syringes. Yeah. So... Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, it was. <laughs> they were really good, too. Usually they suck. Those are really good. You didn't want the whole thing. I can't take, like, I don't like. Too sweet? It, yeah, it's too sugary. Okay. I get it. So uh, how long did it take you to, from 3 o'clock to getting home? Because I know you had the food. Oh. Well, well, we went. Getting home only took, like, five minutes. But well, I went. Yeah, we, we went back to, to Shane and Ashley's and we're like, oh, well, we're just going to go grab some Taco Bell. There's usually half of us that get dropped off at the house, like the drunk people. <laughs> yeah. And then the other half go and get food for, for the, the drunk, drunk people. 
<laughs> and themselves, of <laughs> and course. Themselves. Yeah. So we, there was two different things. It was me and Shane and, and Joe were left at the house, mm-hmm. and then and then they went on. Ashley, Rob, and I went went and got some food. Got the food. The uh, the Taco Bell downtown was line wrapped around, so we went to the Southwest one on Illinois. Mm-hmm. They were closed. It was like three thirty, maybe four o'clock in the morning. So we're like, well, we'll just go to Steak and Shake. We know they're twenty four hours. Yep. And, had some amazing steak and shake. It was delicious. <laughs> it was pretty darn good. What time did you get up? Uh, we... I think we left Shane we and left Ashley's at, at like 7. Six or 7 o'clock in the oh, morning. Shit. Did well, you I sleep just, there? I didn't sleep. It, it's more like we kind of just sobered up and mm-hmm. then went home. Like, yeah. I, I slept off a little bit and then it was like, like, I just, I need to be in my bed to I go think, to sleep. I think you just eventually get to that point. Yeah. And I mean, and Josh was... Josh had cut himself off early and he just he was all sober by seven o'clock. He's like, All right, well, let's just go home. I'm like, yep. okay, sounds good. That was good. I was I was fine. It was good. It was a good time. Fun time at flashbacks. Yeah. Yeah. So where do you want to move on to? Um why don't you tell your Atari story? Yeah, so this is trending in the news. Atari is releasing a console next year. Yeah. Next Atari is? spring. Yeah. That's old news. Uh this came out uh yesterday. September twenty sixth on PC like Gamer. They announced, rumors. they announced a while ago. Well, here's the here's the information on it. Then <laughs> they were getting in the console game again. And it's called Atari Box. Will run Linux and AMD custom processor and will cost three hundred dollars. Um, and that was in June. They said that they declared themselves back, and that's what you're saying. That's what the old news was. Um, but yeah, it's coming out spring twenty eighteen. It'll cost between two fifty and three hundred. Uh, doesn't really say any other information as far as what's going to be on it, and I don't know why they're doing that. I've we've seen a lot of third, I don't want to say third party consoles, but a lot of those ones that just try to get into the console business, like the Oya. Remember that little guy? Mm-mm. You don't remember the Oya? It was a, it was a Kickstarter campaign. It was like a, a console that ran on Android, and uh, it was like maybe this big. It was really small, mm. really small console. It it didn't exceed its expectations so people bought it and we're like this is fine whatever we'll move on to our the big hardware pieces and then um steambox yeah that was that was valve trying to come into Mm -hmm. the console market i don't know if they're still they still exist if you can still get them i'm not sure but uh, i remember valve trying to do that themselves and atari is trying to get back into it I just, it's too much at once. I mean, a lot a lot of consoles coming and going. Mm-hmm. It's just the main three are sticking around. If you count PC, it's four. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's just some inf- in- interesting information. I don't know. I can't tell you the last, you know, inform- like big thing from Atari. Not as far as consoles go, no. I mean, you have to go back to the 80s. Uh, the 90s, they had the Jaguar. Oh, okay. but And that was when it was... The Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis, or Saturn. I don't remember which one. And there was one other, along with the Jaguar. Uh, no? Nope, I can't remember. Can't I've ask never me. played a, or never owned an Atari console. Uh, my, I played my mom and dad's Atari. My parents had one. But I'm going to save this image. It's an interesting uh, interesting image on this uh, this box here. Let me see if I can rotate it for you so you can see what it looks like. It's It looks like a 1980s console. It looks like yeah, it, it looks like our Comcast box. It, it, <laughs> it's got a wood grain on the front. It's they oh, had, they had oh, those. that's okay. I like that. That's cool. You I like that? I yeah, it, like that. It, it it reminds me of uh, like my mom and dad's old Buick <laughs> <laughs> wood paneling. Yeah, isn't that the best? A console reminds you of a an old Buick. Well, it just it reminds me like like a an older ver- like i get what they're trying to do there. yeah yeah so it's interesting it's it it will probably fail just saying <laughs> it will probably fail it looks yeah. nice but it'll speaking of fail. consoles i'm not gonna the, buy it the snes classic review is on ign i checked that out today did you so. i didn't i didn't check it out what'd they give it uh 8.5 what was the downside to it um the the cords of the controllers were longer Okay, but That's good. they weren't weren't overly long, and you know they're they're not wireless, so get a decent size, or get a Aren't decent they length cords. No. no, well, they might be, but they're still they still got that short. one port. Okay, but uh, I guess they have the the save points, but if you screw up and you want to reload it, you have to restart the console, like the old days. Yeah, that's fine, but uh, it's just kind of tedious things that. 
they could have done better. Well, they th- and I hear that there's actually more consoles out. So if you want to buy a Super Nintendo mi- uh, Mini, whatever, you can get one. It's they're I, saying I, there's actually, plenty. Actually, I didn't look to see if like just on Amazon if they're available, but that's what they said. There's going to be much more. Yes. Does that so, make you happier? Oh, I think they have to do it, and I think if they didn't do it, it was a a real fuck you to the fans. It was because everyone was really upset about the NES. Yeah, yeah. It, I, I wonder, did they show the size comparison? They did. It's a lot, a lot, a lot smaller, smaller than the original. Well, everything's digital now, yeah. so yeah. that's probably why. So, and speaking of Nintendo, I, I put my uh, my Switch onto the charger over the weekend, and I was like, I haven't touched this thing in a while, and I started playing some Mario Kart. It was it was pretty fun, but I was like, man, there's just nothing out right now that I'm mm-hmm. interested in. Just nothing. Mm-hmm. So you're going to sell it? No. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, right. <laughs> no, right, no. Hopefully, I want... Hopefully. Mario's coming out next month. Say, I wonder yeah. when they're going to... They have to bring out Smash. Oh, they're not going to announce that for a couple of years. So oh, you don't no, they won't have any interest in the Rabbid, Mario Rabbids crossover? I looked into it. I was like, I, I'll ask for it for Christmas. Someone buys it for me. I don't care. I, I may or may not play it. It's... It's just a turn-based game. I'm not used to that kind of thing. I'm not interested in that kind of thing. If I want to play a turn-based game, I'll go play Pokemon or I'll go play South Park. Yeah. You know, those South Park game. The Fracture Butt Hole comes out, uh, I think, in November, which I'm pretty excited about, too. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Alex almost launched a Stick of Truth over I the weekend. I almost, but I, I'm so glad I didn't. Oh, yeah? Do you Why? just want to jump into playing and watching? No, that's for the end. Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll do that at the end. Okay, well, we're Why don't teaser. you uh, teaser. tell your mall story? Oh, so that kind of goes uh, right before we went to flashback. So we had to go to the mall, or we didn't have to go to the mall, but Josh was like, you know what, it's been a while since we since you've bought like a new like going out dress, and I want to do something nice for you and pick something out. And I told him, I was like, well, he always has, he always tries to, um, when we go out, he always tries to pick out what he wants me to wear, and I always criticize it. And yeah, end you up, do. End up wearing something by myself anyway. <laughs> so I told him, like, all right, well, fine, then you're going going to pick it out and then i'll wear it no matter what <laughs> so we went into uh went into a store that we usually get i usually get dresses at and they had nothing for for once it's always when i want to buy something there's nothing and when i don't want to buy anything and i just go in there to browse and i'm like they have no reason to buy anything i find like 10 things <laughs> So we went in there and there was absolutely nothing i tried on like three or four dresses and they were super plain and i was like I, I looked at Josh and I'm like, I'll, I'll come out, I'll model him a little bit. I'm like, what do you think? Eh, okay, go to the next one. Eh, go to the next yeah. one. And then afterwards, I was like, what did you think? And he's like, what did you think? I'm like, nothing really kind of grabbed me. He's like, yeah, me neither. Let's go. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. okay, good. So let's go. So we went to the next the next uh, store and uh, I kind of dropped him off at Think Geek. <laughs> <laughs> Drop me off. <laughs> well, you I stay sh- in there, honey. I'll be right back. <laughs> Mommy's just got to go get some shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what it was was i mean i like going in there but it's like you can go on I, we'd already been in there a couple times so i'm like how much new stuff can they have in inside of a short period of time right so i already knew everything that was in there so i was like all right you go in there i'll start picking out some things i think that you'll like um in this store so i went out went in and i started trying stuff on and he ended up meeting me there so i walked out and i got like a instead of i couldn't find any dresses so instead i got a top Mm-hmm. Like a new, like kind of crop top looking thing, and he really liked that. So I was like, okay, well, I'll go and buy this. So I bought it, and then we left, and then we went home. Oh my home. god, I know and this. I know where this is going. <laughs> as at like, right, so the mall from here is like what fifteen minutes away. Yeah. Okay, so on a Saturday, about five six o'clock, it's about twenty minutes away because of traffic. Yeah. So we only have a little bit of time before we're starting to get ready, and we have to cram Destiny in, and like all this other stuff, right? So I don't really have a lot of time. As soon as we're pulling into the apartment, I decide to get it out of the bag to look at it again. And they forgot to take the damn security thingy off of it. <laughs> That's not the first time it's happened to but Alex. it didn't go off at the door? No. And I'm it didn't go off when I came back in either. Do you want to say where this place was? Charlotte Rouge. Uh, uh-uh. You got it at Windsor. Charlotte Rouge. I swear you bought Windsor is the first place we went in. Oh, you're right. I'm yeah. wrong. Um, no. So, you know, the, the big plastic thing. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, that you cannot like go home and pry it off uh-huh. you <laughs> so, can try you can try you aren't probably... those full of ink i think so i thought they were well there's that and then i th- like if you try to clip it it spurts out ink either way i pretty much cursed a whole bunch 
(laughs) and said well i guess i'll go back to the mall (laughs) (laughs) she was and it was on the opposite side of the mall like we have to go all the way to the back of the. not only that we were hangry Oh, and on top of that, we had just got food, and I had not eaten all day, so I was like, and like, I just we had so much more stuff we needed to do. We spent more time at the mall than I wanted to, so I zoomed back to the mall. We we're supposed to be meeting Jaron in like thirty minutes, <laughs> mm-hmm. so I had to go to the mall and eat and get ready to play Destiny all within that time. So I went back there, stood in line, and the same girl, uh, I like, I didn't go into her line, but I was like eyeing her, and she was like looking at me like, "Why the hell are you back?" <laughs> and I'd been, I was there yeah. an hour ago. <laughs> yep. and i got out my receipt got out the thing and i laid it down and then she automatically came up and she goes what's wrong and i'm like you forgot to take this off and it, uh i got all the way home before i noticed it and she's like oh Did you say it all shitty oh yeah i was pissed i was super pissed <laughs> like, i also had I to truck myself all through the mall to the opposite side of the the freaking mall so i got up there so laid, laid it down showed her i was upset and then she's like oh i'm really sorry about that and then um i was like kind of gave her like the eye like and the one girl was like uh, that was checking that was handling it um said uh you know i you know i'm really sorry about this look for something in your email um she's like is it the same email that email that you used to check out I said yeah she's like we'll set we'll send you something i'm really sorry you had to come all the way back here for that <laughs> like and the garment that i had it's super small and it's dark and you can see it it's super obvious that you should have been able to just take it off like it's not like it's hidden anywhere it was right in the front (laughs) yeah yeah but she's just beep and stuck it in the bag (laughs) (laughs) so i mean that was it was very irritating (laughs) but yeah there was that that was overlook that yeah Yeah. but there was that i was just really mad about that was the mall busy Mm, not really not really no not really really aren't anymore ever yeah, everyone's doing the online shopping. Would you like to join the show? I am I'm doing our T-Shirt Tuesday giveaway. Oh, why It's past 8 so? o'clock. <laughs> oh, we kind of need to do that, don't we? I've been just really, like, Josh, quietly. Josh over here, like, shit. I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing, I was, like, being really conspicuous in the corner over here, just, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep talking. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to take care of it. And, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking into it. You guys, we can keep you, talking until I get you, it are done. Are you not ready yet? No, I, I'm doing it through Alex's phone because sh- she does twitter with you i don't <laughs> so <laughs> okay anyways i mean do you want to do you want to go on do you want to talk about fantasy sure we can do that real quick absolutely yeah, yeah let's talk about fantasy brett how are you doing in the fantasy <laughs> you um, are oh you know what before we talk fantasy i gotta we got one thing i forgot to mention even to you guys i knew there was something when i got here today that i need to tell you and i could not remember what it was <gasps> you're pregnant no it's good about eric is um, pregnant congratulations it's about our friend with the uh, GoFundMe that we talked about. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to tell the story real quick. I'm listening. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Well, you guys know, but for the listeners. So yeah. I've got a friend. His name is Kyle, and he, ha- he has a son. His son is just over one year old, and he's had some skin problems, like like this rash. And Kyle and taken him, like Kyle and his wife, taken his son to all the hospitals in Fort Wayne, see numerous doctors, dermatologists, allergists. They cannot figure out what this rash is. And it's become very frustrating. It's they, they, he's, they've ran some tests, but they don't want to run a lot of tests because of his age. Mm-hmm. And they all say that he'll outgrow it and that it's not life threatening and really not to worry about it. And, so he's oh, I trying. saw a picture of it. Like it's all yeah. over, like his face, his arms, his chest, like and his I whole guess body. He gets on a, like a steroid, and it'll go away. That's not good for a baby. Well, I wouldn't think so either. But I'm not a doctor, you know. I, so, yeah. but anyway, so he started this GoFundMe because just the the uh, expenses with that are being are, are starting to add up. He's trying to get him into the the Mayo Clinic mm-hmm. in. Uh, is it Minnesota? Uh, that's where Alex says there's one in Ohio. I thought that there was one in Ohio. Maybe it's just Minnesota. He's trying to get him in there, and um, I guess they have a real extensive appointment in November at Riley, which is in which Children's Hospital Hospital in in uh, Indy. So we want to put that out there for Kyle. Uh, we'll. Uh, put a link to the GoFundMe in the notes. Yes, in the um, notes and on YouTube. And on YouTube. Definitely. App. So, you know, anything you can give, 
you, we, he would appreciate it. Did you, you did you explain what's, what what he looks like? Like what he he's like covered in hives. You it's, know? it's it's, it's a, a rash hive or some kind of crazy rash. It's, I don't know. You can see it on the actual. It's uncomfortable page. to see. Yeah, it's. I can't imagine. Did you, did you say, like, is it, so is it itchy I do too. Or? I I don't think so. And Kyle, there's you know obviously it's on the GoFundMe. He's got a story of you know what they've been through so far. And, oh. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine like the cost. Well, the cost is one thing, but the utter frustration of you, you, your son, your child has a problem. Yeah. Everybody can see he has a problem. And they don't know And it know feels why. like nobody wants to figure out what the problem is. It's got to be aggravating. Uh, frustrating as hell. Well, it's and not, just, it's not like they're not trying. Exactly. Right? Well, that, I mean, and then as well, a parent, we're not you, the ones going to the I, visits. I, I don't, we don't right, know. I know, but <laughs> even as a parent, you want to do what you can to help your, <laughs> your offspring and you, and, and nothing's working or nothing. No one's finding the issue. Like, <laughs> is it on Facebook right now? I think that's where you. It's on Kyle's page. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna and I, up. it's I, I shared it on my Twitter, and we'll tweet it out from yeah. our Twitter, the show Twitter. But it's also just uh, he's basically being told, well, there's really nothing we can do when it isn't really being felt that they're trying to do something. Yeah. So oh, yeah, I see it right there. It's right on top. Did you pin that to your top of your profile? Or have you just not been on Facebook I'm all week? Been on Facebook, <laughs> even on Twitter. Oh, they're 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 reaching they're reaching some goals. Yeah, here. there has been. He's also Kyle has ran into some trolls. Oh, it happens. It happens. So, but you know, you just got to say fuck the trolls. That's exactly. that's all. <laughs> um, just let's say people questioning his his motives. The, so. the yeah. photo's right there. Exactly. <laughs> I know exactly. So, How can you fake that? I can't even Photoshop that personally. <laughs> yeah. No way. <laughs> so Kyle, good luck, and uh, we hope that uh, there's some generous people out there. Absolutely, well, yeah. We hope you find the answers that you're looking forward to. Bullshit, they gotta deal with baby. that. You know, that sucks. Yeah. But uh, T-shirt Tuesday, Alex, you get to announce. I get to announce. You get to announce. Why me? Because it's right there on your phone. Okay. <laughs> so how about you Is talk that about really who won? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why are you looking at me? Because <laughs> you had the phone. He passed it over to me after he after he did the thingy. So what T shirt Tuesday is? It's a giveaway that we do just to give back to the fans and people who listen to us, and we and it also helps us get our name out there more. And it really helps us. It's gotten bigger. We were doing it on Facebook for a while, and we brought it over to Twitter. Twitter has a better following. I'll, I'll be honest there. And you okay, Brett? Yeah. <laughs> did you court thing again or what? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the first Tuesday of every month is when we post up the T-shirt Tuesday giveaway, and the last Wednesday of the month on our podcast is when we announce the winner of the person who did what was necessary to enter. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, all right. Well, you, one T-shirt though. You, one T-shirt. One T-shirt. <laughs> so we we have announced uh, some people have won where there's multiples, as in a podcast or a group, and there's only one. Yes, you get you, one. You, you only, only get one. You only get one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyways, I guess the winner for um, September of 2017. From a random picker. Yes, randomizer. it's a randomizer. Um, is the Dan and Cody podcast. When do you guys get it? So yeah, so, you can fight. You, you I want to see a it? fight. I want to see a fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, was, I was listening to uh, their latest episode and yeah. Cody was not on, but Dan was talking to Joe from... Um, those movie guys. Okay. And um, Dan, when he he can he can do an impersonation of Cody, and it is hilarious. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> laughing my ass. Off. I'll have to check it out. I, yeah. I I don't listen to any podcasts. I don't have any time in my day yeah. to do so. Well, I know you don't really have time to even do our podcast. <laughs> I, I'm working on ours entirely. It takes up my entire day, so or my entire week. Well, you're, you're, yeah. My day anyways. off on the podcast is Tuesday. <laughs> so anyways, so Dan and Cody podcast, this is a listen to win. A winner is you. A winner is you. Um, so you can contact us via Twitter, email, yeah, Twitter, whatever. email, uh, pretty much anything. <laughs> yep. Just to say, hey, I heard that I won the shirt, and this is my size, and yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then um, we would like a picture. Uh, yeah, and congratulations. Yeah. When we when we send it, when, I, when yeah, we send it. Yeah. My, my sister won. She hasn't done a picture. I know. <sighs> There's lots of people that won haven't done pictures yet. I would like to have pictures so we can like we can make I'm like a collage. Their faces. Collage and put it up. <laughs> yeah. Of people wearing their we'll showing start, their PTO support. We'll start support. there and we'll go all the way across. Yeah. So that'd <laughs> it's be like fun. the the wall of flame at. Wing, etc. Yeah, uh, aren't you on that? that? Oh God, no. I thought you were. <laughs> no, I know our we have, friend we have, Tony's have, on there. Tony's on. Tony's there, on yeah. there. I think Adam's. On Adam's there. on there. Adam's on there. Our friend, old friend Jim's on there. Yep. Um, there's someone else I know that's on there. Um, Tony's What's brother. It, is it Rick Brian, on there? Oh, Brian's on there. Brian's friend 
Oh yeah. He was a freak. And he ate all 16 in like 10 minutes. I have no uh, idea how he did it. Absolutely and he was not. just, he was covered in were the you, sauce. Were you there that time when it was me, Alex, our friend Jer, and our my friend Luke, and we went to Wings, et cetera, to try the wall sauce, and we each got three wings, and we were with our old friend Jesse and her ex-husband, Matt? No. You don't remember that? No. Well, I'm going to tell the story. <laughs> it's really bizarre that you remember something that I don't. Well, you might not have been. No, there. I remember oh. this too because I was sitting right next to him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I, and our friend Jim and Tony were there and we were all like, oh, yeah, the wall wall sauce, wall wing. This is nothing. This is nothing. We got this, bro. <laughs> and no, I didn't have it at all. No. Um, I got one and a half in and I just stood immediately up. I was like, I'm going to puke. No, I'm not. I sat back down <laughs> and I immediately stood up again and like, yes, I am. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the bathroom and uh, uh, Matt was there um, and he was pacing around the bathroom. And so was I. We're like, <sighs> <sighs> our, <laughs> I'm so glad I'm telling this story. Our our, our friend Luke, who's just the, the big burly South Dakota farm boy guy. Um, He's like, I got this. I got this. He burnt his lips. It was, it was just like. Swollen. You know what, what's it? What's it? Is it Caitlyn Jenner? The 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 Kylie Jenner the thing? Kylie Jenner thing. You know where they're sucking the lips. They were sucking sucking on something and it like made their made their lips really big. So that's what Luke's lips kind of looked like after was this. He was dabbing his napkin in milk and just rubbing like it around his, his face. face. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about this story. This is so awesome. Um, and then our friend Jer's like, oh, I can handle this. Because he was all about getting the hot foods at yeah. that time. He still kind of yeah. does that just to yeah. get that rush, yeah. his endorphin rush. So he's like, I'm going to do this as well. And so he gets all three down. <laughs> he's just crying. He's just cry- <laughs> <laughs> Luke, what is, Luke, Luke touched his face or something, didn't he? Uh, um, I thought so, yeah, one of them yeah. did. I, 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 well, yeah, of course you're going to touch your face and just burns. And he got but it, he got it like like up a little close to his eyes. And Luke's eyes are just like pouring <laughs> tears out of his face. But he's oh, like this man. really, really like kind of like big built kind of guy. You're just like, oh, he can handle anything. And three wings. Three wings. Three wings. <laughs> Killed him. Did you ever try the wall sauce? Oh, I've tried it. Oh, I've yeah. tried it. It's it's, no it's, joke. Um, it's, it's so no joke. bad that when we were living back in South oh, Dakota. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We um so back in South Dakota the winters get like average below zero on a daily uh, yeah and we had a sample of the wall sauce to take back to South Dakota with us and I just threw it in the back um the back window and it sat there like for at least a couple months a couple months didn't freeze a couple months and then we ended up we were drunk one night and we we're just like <laughs> i remember this <laughs> we went over to luke's house and we're like it's the wall sauce and we he made some wings and we dipped in it and they were all like bawling they and went outside and grabbed snow, snow and, we're just... and was eating the snow <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, how many wings could you do of the wall sauce yeah i think i don't know if i I you did the blazing. The you did the blazing I did. challenge. Oh, I was there for that. The blazing is is way worse it's, now than it used to be. Okay, I thought I was I like, man, the wall like was crap. Well, yeah, none of them are are the flavor is very good when it gets that hot. It's all about that rush, you know, where you want to my experience just anyway. burn your esophagus. The wall sauce actually has a good flavor to it. Blazing at Buffalo Wild Wings, I think, tastes like poop. Well, I think <laughs> I think it's way different now. Like they well, maybe completely I'll have to try it redid again. the blazing sauce, and it's completely oh, did they? different. Now. I'm sure. I'm well. You you gotta you gotta step up your game when you have a competitor who's got a hotter sure, sauce than you. Sure. You know, you're like, oh, I'm much better. So, uh, you, did you just try the sauce itself? I think so. I might have had a wing or two. I know I couldn't do much, and I have an even a lower tolerance now than I did. Oh yeah, ten years ago. I think Alex's tolerance is pretty much the same. It's gotten a little better actually, because you'll go for like mango habanero. It depends on the. It it depends. Yeah. I think I think I've I've learned what it does to my body. So you know what to prepare yourself. <laughs> so for. I know what to prepare myself for. Yeah. I like a little kick, but I don't want it to spoil my enjoyment of eating. Well, that's them. the thing. I like the enjoy. Like that's what I enjoy though. So like, I love the the heat and the spice. Like I love it and I hate it. Let's go back to the wall sauce. I got another story yes. so, about our friend Greg. Oh, yeah, our friend Greg. <laughs> <laughs> this is a funny story. So we were in Chicago a couple of years ago. That's when we were living there, and uh, we had our friend Greg try the wall sauce. <laughs> another thing where we had a sample, we had a sample. that we yep. brought back, yep. and it yep. so he's just, was old. He, he dabbed his finger. He's like, oh, that's, that's not bad. It's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. And then he's allergic to cats, so he <laughs> itches his eye. Oh, no. And he's like, 
oh fuck it's in my eye now <laughs> and he hates eye he things hates eye th- he cannot anything touching an eye he can't do he cannot yeah. put like eye drops in his eye like he without, abs- without like like just he he's cringing just, like so that's much. his uh, like i hate spiders he hates stuff with eyes <laughs> yes but yep. he, it was so funny because he's like mm. and then like he just he's very allergic to cats and he like got i don't know i just remember I didn't watch him do it, but I just remember hearing. He just did this rub. Fuck! Like, it's oh. in my eye. Oh. <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit, Greg, you really got it." He's like, "I can't do it. I can't do." It. I'm like, "You have to put drops in your eyes. It's gonna really so burn he, your eyes." So he turns on our faucet, and he's just like, he's splashing, like splashing the water his into his face. <laughs> oh man, it was such a great time. Wall, wall sauce brings the fun out in yeah, people. Yes, so as you say, we've had a lot of memories built around the wall, wall wing. The wall wing. Wall wing. <laughs> so uh, we just talked about spiders. Do you want to tell your spider story? Yeah. Yeah, a couple run-ins with spiders this yeah, week. it's been getting kind of crazy around here. So I was at work. I was in the, the back with Delaney, my coworker. Okay. And we were doing some stuff on the counter. And I was, I don't even know how I saw it, but a big-ass spider drops from the ceiling on a box that's kind of leaning up against something to her left. And I go, holy shit! And I, <laughs> I grabbed her by the shoulders and I yank her back. And I'm like, she's like, what? what, what? Like, big spider, big spider. And, Did you uh, kill it? No, because I don't really like to kill them. One, because they make either. a huge mess. Well, yeah, they you splatter the shit out. Yeah. Of it. So we got a. I think we got a styrofoam cup and relocated Let it outside. him outside. I, I've kind of, I've kind of. Nope become the same where i'm kind of I'm, I'm becoming a buddhist where i just don't want to kill insects anymore what i caught a mouse at work well yeah we'll, we'll get to that <laughs> i remember you talking I about that we can talk about that too um like i just i don't like to kill insects like spiders especially because they get rid of all the crap that flies awesome. around here <laughs> yeah yep. and uh a couple years ago when we first moved here we had bushes around our, our apartment and we would constantly be getting spiders coming into our place because they would huddle in those bushes oh yeah so they took the bushes out at, like after a, a week or so seeing like them just covered in webs it's all the bushes were. It looked like it was Halloween on those wet we- on the on the bushes. Mm. Yeah, it was. It, Alex would not go near him. Nope. <laughs> so uh, you had another one. So like two days later, we're in the break room at work, and it looked like at least, if not the same spider, the same kind of spider. Oh god! Crawling along the wall. I'm like, shit, he's fucking back. <laughs> <laughs> so we again relocate him outside. Yeah. So then last Friday. I'm at the house and I'm, I think I'm playing Xbox actually, just sitting in the chair and I only have one lamp on in the living room because it's later at night. Mm-hmm. And I saw, I thought I saw something dark along the baseboard again. I'm like, well, I wonder what that is. I'm like, eh, it's probably nothing. So I don't think anything about it. Play a little more whatever I'm playing, look over a minute, a couple minutes later and it's gone and it's over on the other wall. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> 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 This massive black spider. Ooh. Just big and fat like it's ready to... Was it a widow? I don't know. I think black widows are around here. I, was like, I don't know. Ugh, shit. Now, I, I'm not afraid of spiders, yeah. but I don't want to be near them. Mm. So I get a box. I had a small box. and I got up the box, and I got a tape measure, actually. And I, just trying to t- I, you know, get probably, you know, 18 inches of tape measure and lock it in place. And I use need. the tape measure to coax it into the box. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to touch the box. So I use it then to pull the box <laughs> towards the door, open the door, <laughs> use the tape measure to then push the box out the door. And then as soon as the box gets out the door, he climbs up the box and gets out. It's like, well, shit, that could have happened at any time. I'm glad oh, it didn't. Man. And then he ran away and I haven't seen him since. So... Well, like what is going on with the spiders? They're enormous. Oh man, and they're just everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> yeah, I've got two stories real quick uh, about about insects and spiders. Um, on Sunday night, we had some people over, and uh, as everyone was leaving, our friend Joe was still over, and it was just me and Alex talking. <laughs> oh, yeah. And all of a sudden, Joe's about to leave, and I looked down on the floor. I'm like, "What is that? It's the biggest freaking like." cricket or grasshopper i don't know it was it was, was a grasshopper it, or was it black it might have no. been a cricket no it was a grasshopper okay. like boing boing so i was trying to use my my shoe to scoot him out the door he kept on bouncing back in he got out once <laughs> he got out once and then, and then, then we said bye and, and to, to joe and he just bounces right back in so we, i kicked him back out again i i wound up killing him 
because I was just you did. I just like whap. I'm done. <laughs> You had your choice, <laughs> and you chose death. Um, same thing happened last night. Alex was sleeping uh, on the couch downstairs, and I was watching. Uh, I think it was what I got back into the office, uh, the the show, and um, all of a sudden you just see just a spider coming down from the ceiling. I was like, "Fuck!" Before it hits the floor, I got to do something. And so before Alex wakes up, so I grab both of my flip flops and just clap them together. <laughs> I was like, I'm just, I can't, I, I don't want to kill them, but they're, they're in my living room. Yeah. <laughs> don't cross the threshold. Stay outside. Right, right. That is my territory. Stay out of my territory. <laughs> Did the Heisenberg thing. Did you want to talk about your mouse? Oh yeah. So last week, uh, I was coming out of the back and I was shutting the door and I just heard, Alex, don't move. And this I see, this is at Alex's work. By yeah. The way. And they're just like, I was like, what? And they all of a sudden I see this, this little thing scurry, like right next, right next, right next to the wall. I was like, oh is that a mouse and they're like freaking out they're like like holding the wall down pretty much <laughs> had their arms out and i was like oh guys it's just a mouse and they're like my manager's like guys i will take care of your fucking spiders but i'm not touching that thing. <laughs> i was like i was like give me some gloves and stuff i'm like oh get it it's a little field mouse looking like a tiny little thing and <laughs> tiny little thing so the funny part was is i'm all like oh i'll get him he's not bad <laughs> and we get him like he went behind like this uh uh he went behind this like cabinet thing where he got into a corner i could corner him and <laughs> we blocked him off and i went to i had to, like these big old big like worker gloves on or whatever i went to kind of go grab him to like cup him and i went to grab him the fucker jumped like three feet onto me and i was like ah! <laughs> and i jumped up and like i thought you liked him i'm like i didn't know he's gonna jump on me <laughs> yeah that's my the problem with mice they're he's fast, fast. too he's like fast. they are boing. quick and that's why i'm not afraid of mice so much as them darting at me like oh, that was the yeah. thing i was like I'm, i was like oh come here little thing <laughs> i can be relatively jumpy at times anyway oh yeah i forgot <laughs> but that's why i i hate rats or no i'm terrified of rats they really will, i like they rats. will run right up you hmm did you ever see videos on youtube of people like sitting on the subway in new york and rats literally run up on God, them God, really? See, i'm like, talking big rats oh how are they See, i would probably how? like i'd be scared of probably like a sewer rat but like i think we i got desensitized by those kind of things because in fifth grade we had pet rats as the class pet and yeah. we would get them out and have us have them on our shoulders can't do it i'm like <laughs> no henry, i liked them and then like, we got to take them home for vacations and stuff henry jones senior oh he's afraid of rats <laughs> yes and, yeah, he, and Henry he is. Jones Jr. is but afraid of snakes. Just yes. as a quick example of me being jumpy, I was at work at Walmart years ago, and oh, was yeah. when I was in the meat department, so I was in the back. We got one of those big, you know, sinks to wash stuff in, kind of like at a restaurant with the yeah, wand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and I'm sitting there, and I can't really hear because I'm running the water, and my manager comes in behind me, but I didn't hear the door. And he just comes up behind me and just starts talking to me like normal. And I go, ah! <laughs> Jump, and he starts laughing his ass off. I'm like, don't sneak up on me. Oh, Anyways, man. to finish my mouse story. So it ended up actually, after it jumped on, on me and then like ran off, it got into like this like closet area. So I was able to shut that door with some other person. And we, uh, we got, she ended up taking like a broom underneath something to, to coax it because it, it had nowhere to go it was in a really small area so she like coaxed it and i grabbed a uh like a plastic like food container and i like, sl like slammed it down on top of it and i caught him and i just put like a piece of cardboard underneath and we took it outside and they're like what you're not gonna kill it and i'm like are you freaking kidding me i'm not gonna kill a mouse why would you kill a mouse yeah, I, he's kill a him, yeah. I mean he's like this big with long old tail and big old eyes God. i'm like i'm not gonna kill a mouse i wouldn't kill a mouse but i would hunt rats <laughs> oh, whatever. Like a 22 with the scope. But Jeez. There was that. Like, <laughs> to, go, to go off of, like a, a spider story here, real quick. Um, uh, a couple years ago at work, somebody found a like this giant spider, and it was like really cool colors, like orange and red and whatnot. That's the stuff you want to stay away from. Well, whichever. I I don't care. I really don't give a shit. I hate spiders. Yeah. So <laughs> they had had it in this jar. Someone caught it in a jar, and they were showing people around work like just you know hey check this out check this out i was sitting at the desk and i was in a roller chair and i think i think this is the first year i was working there so they didn't really know i was scared of spiders <laughs> so <laughs> i was
was sitting down and my manager comes up and she goes oh have you have you guys uh, uh alex have you seen this yet someone uh, found this right outside of the door and i thought i'd uh, it looked really cool i thought i'd show you and she like sits it down in front of me and i like look over wait for my paper and i'm like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> and I like I pushed my chair back and like scrolled over. She's like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "I do not like spiders." <laughs> I'm like, "What the hell is that? A monster?" <laughs> and she's like, "Okay, well, I thought I figured out everybody that was scared of spiders. I guess I didn't ask you." Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Don't, don't, like she just sat the fucker right next to me. I'm like, "What the hell?" <laughs> <laughs> oh man, can, <sighs> can we move on to uh, fantasy? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't have much to say other than I can't buy a win in our league. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> no. It's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> I lost the for the first time. dumb part is, like, I got smoked by, like, 40. Yeah. Yeah, in my other two league, I won by 40. Well, so, I'm like, uh, what the hell? What are your standing standings in the other ones? Two and one. Both? Yeah. And you're zero and three. Well, two and three. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm two and one, and Alex is three and oh. Three and oh. Pretty yep. good. Guess what, Alex? What? It's projected I'm going to beat you this week. We are, are we going up against each other? Yes, we are. It's on. Are you going to make some kind of dirty bet? The bet's $10 already. <laughs> I don't know. He's I mean, talking about between you and me. Him. Uh, you, don't have, you don't have to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to make some kind of dirty bet? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. We haven't really. I, I don't ju- know. I, I just I, looked and I'm I was like, say, I was wow. like, I haven't really looked at it since sunday if when i, I realized you, i won that's awesome <laughs> well but i will say that i mean obviously i'm not going to talk about everything that went going on during the weekend mm-hmm. but i would i'm still pondering whether to even partake in football this weekend because i'm so frustrated with oh shit uh, uh, oh yeah when, when are the waiver reports due waiver reports or the like to Get change your lineup or pick new players. Um, or is it that, says how much time we have left here. They it process looks. on Wednesday mornings usually. Yeah. No, no because I, I drafted somebody like two weeks ago well, or whatever on a if Wednesday. You don't have to use your waiver pickup. I mean, if you miss it, you can just pick somebody up usually. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, it's really getting slim to none because I already have. Um, I have another guy out. Sproles. He yeah. like dislocated yeah. his wrist and. And uh, or what was it? Yep. No, he has an ACL and then something else all in the same He's play. He's on injured reserve. Yep. So now I dropped. That's two players now that I dropped. Yeah. <laughs> he tore both his ACL and broke his arm. Jeez! And it was like same play or something too. What wasn't it? Well, it had to be in the same play if he tore one he's not gonna oh. do the other <laughs> no shit no but i saw that and i'm like are you kidding <laughs> yeah i still won though at the same time the the games were really good this weekend so they it's, are it's frustrating pretty touchy yeah mm-hmm. yeah let's, let's not talk about that <laughs> you want to you want to move on to, to something else we sure. can do we can do either Josh, or, uh, or. So, real quick what who's your quarterback um i have drew Brees, or i think marcus Mariota is the other one i think oh, you've he, got Brees in yeah i do brady gave me a lot of points this week though he does that yes yeah, so. he's he's the guy who's carrying you uh no watkins gave me double points and uh girly not Gurley. no i don't have girly no um cook 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 did amazing cook did amazing with their backup he, he brought quarterback it, he came back the vikings i didn't expect that at all because the bucks tore into the bears yeah, last week i was scared for that i, I was had, like great uh, i'm not gonna get any I points digs in one of them that got real well Someone had. Are you sure it was you? Oh, in, in a different league. Was it Ash- Ashley had Gurley? She got like thirty-five points or something off of him. Someone yeah. had Digs, but they didn't play them. Yeah, and it was Joe, I think. Yeah, Joe had like two big players, and like his bench uh, scored more than mm-hmm. <laughs> I think than his his yeah. uh it happens. players. It happens. Um, you just don't know what to expect, you know. We can do either <clears throat> or, but I gotta go down and get the notebook. Oh well, uh, while you're doing that, I can, Alex I can and I can touch my... on. We can touch on No Mercy. All right. Yeah, we can That's do that. Fun. Yeah, we'll yeah, talk about while, no you're, while you're running down there. Um, so just to uh, iterate, uh, over the weekend, Alex and I had some uh, friends over, and um, we watched No Mercy, which is raw. Uh, it was the raw pay per view for WWE. Mm-hmm. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot uh, uh, interesting. I do want to s- wait for the one part for when for Brett to come back here. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, Cesaro. was there was there anything? All right. So I thought that the Enzo and Neville match was, was absolutely throwaway. It was throwaway, and I think it's absolutely stupid it's that garbage. Enzo won. And and he got the belt, and that that brings the belt down a notch because of the fact that he got it over a technicality of punching a guy in the nuts. 
<laughs> well, on top of that, Enzo is just like I. I liked Enzo and Cass. I, did. I don't they were like good. Enzo mm-hmm. as a, as as himself. And we don't know what Cass is doing. And I don't know what Cass is doing. Like yeah. I liked them a lot as like. As I a totally team. agree. <laughs> totally agree. Enzo is he. He's like the guy that you just, it's like, it's like the band that you want to just, you know, have them stop performing, you know, just stop, you know, just go do your own thing somewhere Like he's, else. he's got a good like gimmick going on, but it's, it hasn't he's, changed. he's such a, apparently he's, he's kind of like a douchebag. He's really. got a lot of heat, <laughs> locker room heat. Apparently. Yes. Cause apparently he, he, he acts the same way he does. See, uh, and if, if, that, if his character is the exact same way as he, as he is in real life, I would not be able to stand him. So, Brett, did you hear about Cesaro? No. <laughs> so, it was... <clears throat> you going to show it? Yep. Uh, wait, wait until I... Is it a, something gross? It's a little gruesome. I can't do it. See if yeah, you can find can. a black and white no, photo. I'm not oh, doing black, it. Black and white photo. Not. Fine. <laughs> well, we'll just describe it then. Yes. So it was Antonio, Cesaro, and Sheamus who are together as a tag team. They're called The Bar, which it's, uh, it's so awesome. It's like, <laughs> they we are, don't raise the bar. We, we are, are the, the bar. bar. <laughs> it's like, so I, awesome. I like it. They have it's, the greatest gimmick good. going. <laughs> and they were facing Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, which is two-thirds of the shield, back together. Mm-hmm. And they are tag team champions. And it was a good, it was great match. Great Best match. match of the night. There was a spot that just the, it was actually the match only about like changed 10 the match in. completely. Mm-hmm. Seth Rollins did a springboard to Cesaro to the turnbuckle. Cesaro overshot it, hit his mouth on the post. He ate the post. Oh. He ate the post. Literally ate the post. Front two teeth went up. Went up into, into his jaw. Stop. <laughs> and, and he when he got back down he like dropped to his knees he was just, just like, like <gasps> they showed slow motion and he like it's like you <laughs> you can see it he kind of went <gasps> his teeth are like and open. he just bled <laughs> oh my god and he went back so our, our friend Wayne is like the best person to have <laughs> he's oh, the greatest he, color he, commentator he, yes, he on is. wrestling <laughs> if you ever want to come on, come back and watch it you have to sit with Wayne you will it's, lol Wayne has like just the best commentary he says the best <laughs> stuff and so Cesaro gets like tagged back into the match like after a while oh, yeah. like you see Seamus kind of going like what do I do now? Kind of yeah. thing. Like he, they didn't know if they had like, to do the X. Like it's done. Like because it was bad. Yeah. <laughs> like and it was real. And he stayed in the entire match. It, yeah, so good great. for him. Good for him. But there was like it was like a uh, Seamus did a thing, and they're like, you know what? The show must go on. And he tagged Cesaro's. Cesaro's like Seamus tagged me back in, and Cesaro got back in. Did some kind of thing where he got flipped or hit he got or something. Punched. He got punched, and then <laughs> Wayne goes, "Oh hey guys, yeah, let me back in." <laughs> nope, fuck that. And he tagged himself <laughs> he out. Tagged himself back out right away he was in for one second, one second went back went out back out was right like, after he like had the blood happen <laughs> oh it was so gruesome but he finished it and uh, there was one part where cesaro was doing like a cross face or something yeah to, he's like and he's like for the love of god ambrose hit the ropes or something like, like grab the rope he was doing it to ambrose and it was a like a close-up on cesaro and he's doing this uh, and, you and you just see, see the blood and, and we're all kind of going like no don't don't show this anymore and wade's just like god for the love of god grab the rope <laughs> <laughs> it was just the most gruesome thing uh, i've ever seen in wrestling the whole, the whole rest of the match we sat there with our hands over our faces going oh my god i've seen the mick foley <laughs> drop from the hell in the cell this was more gruesome than oh, that sure. yeah. because the landing you could hear him you could fight hear it. it like it would just dunk like bounce okay off. i get it, <laughs> I get it. Th- there okay. isn't really anything else from no mercy that i could really talk about some of the matches were thrown I, I thought that the the brock and uh Stroman. Stroman match was good but i think it was overhyped yeah. We overhyped it ourselves due to SummerSlam. I mean, it, it was what it was, and it was what it was supposed to be, which is two big-ass men throwing each other around, like, uh, pieces of paper, Lesnar's pretty much. matches, they're just so short now. It's just almost like, is it worth the watch? Because well, that, he, and it's got to the point where we're predicting um, the number of suplexes. And I got it. You did. You six. got it. Six. Yep. I guessed five. I win. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was no mercy. Uh, no, Brock. Who, who won? Oh, Brock Lesnar won. He yeah. he won uh, by an F five to Brock. Yeah, he Roman. yeah, and that was cool to see. He F five Brock Roman. <laughs> yeah, one of the biggest guys in the wrestling business today. But uh, yeah, that was it for No Mercy. It was a uh, it was interesting pay per view. Some of the stuff was just meh. so like most of the stuff. I mean, well then there was the Cena and oh, Reigns uh, match, uh, and that was I hated it. I didn't I didn't enjoy it. Nope. I don't like that they're building reins up. Nope. Or trying to. Nope. Cena basically just passed the reins. The it's like the torch or something the like torch the babyface torch reins. or whatever to reins, and I don't yeah. think people are going to accept it. No. Nope. No. Nope. So, 
That's about it. Um, we can touch on some uh, either or. What, what do we? Yeah, we'll do for? either or, and then we'll hit uh, the playing and watching, and add the Halo in with that. Yeah, okay. yeah. What are yeah. we sitting at for time? Yeah, fifty nine. Oh, okay. So yeah. we got we got We're a bit. Okay, so we're kind of getting away from the. <clears throat> well, I thought we were. Maybe we're not. To food. We've got a few of them <laughs> that are not food, but then it looks like it goes back to food. So we're okay, back. so we're doing some either or. A recliner or couch for a nap. Couch. Damn. Honestly, I think it depends on the recliner. I used to think recliner, but I think I'm switching back to couch. You gotta stay flat, man. I've learned my, my lesson. I can fall asleep easier in a recliner, but I not I don't stay as comfortable. Yeah, I think if it's yeah. a short one Like in your parents' recliner, recliner, I can fall asleep easy in their recliner. I think in all of my parents' recliners that you've Pretty sat much. In. <laughs> they, they have <laughs> Their their recliners are choice. <laughs> they are choice. Yes, I totally agree. But no, I, I will wake up very easily and be very uncomfortable yep. after that. If it's a nap like I took down there today, I could do it in a recliner. But if I'm going to sleep for an extended period it, yeah, of time, it's got to be a couch. Yeah. Okay, I got an either or for uh, for you guys. What? Leather or fabric? Fabric. Fabric. I like the leather. I don't. I hate I, our leather I love couches. being cold. It's too cold. Like I and I, I'm generally warm, but it doesn't hold in heat when it's cold, and it holds in too much heat when it's hot. Well, don't I either let it be peel, hot I either peel myself off or I shiver. <laughs> yeah. Like, At the same time, I'd rather like have leather interior in my car. Which really? I do, so. I've never had leather interior, so I don't know. It yeah. gets sticky in the summer. I'll tell you that. Yeah, only until you put the a thingy on. AC gets gets it going. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. All right, I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but cap or beanie? Beanie. Ooh. Cap. Ooh. I was like, you really like both. I wear both. You kind of like, you have like a flip-flop. He's got he's got one that's um like a cap and a it's beanie. Got, it's a beanie with a, a with bill. A bill. bill yeah. Yeah, I see? love that one. Yeah, that so so I got, he's I got, got a, both. <laughs> I got the hybrid. He likes to have a, a thing. I like to have a, a, a bill. A, a bill. I hope he likes to have a thing. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> okay. So yeah. All right. While you're at home, socks on or off? Off. I agree. It used to be on. Alex is probably if it's winter. If on. it's winter, it needs uh, my feet or pretty much once my body knows it hits October, socks are on until about March. I think about, <laughs> yeah, I think about four or five months is the only time I see you go barefoot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I know the answer pretty much just because we've all been to each other. For the sake houses. of the audience though. Um shoes on or off in the house? Off. Off. Definitely off. And our friend Joe loves to keep his shoes on. However, if I'm having several people over, I don't want them to think that they come into my house they have to take their shoes off. They don't no, they don't. You know? Not with ours. Our no. place has never really been that why this carpet's expensive no it's not we don't No, but i it's a lot easier to keep clean if people don't it track is. stuff in. but after a, after a week or so you're like well i'm it's fine to track in because i have to clean it eventually another i know time. but it's, you just get over it i also feel like it's a sign of respect yeah. like take your shoes off when you come yeah. in uh, yeah i get that i no, get that I, I i'm not get, saying that joe doesn't respect us i really i could give a shit really <laughs> if if, he, if his shoes are on or off joe just need joe just likes to be prepared in case he needs to run out somewhere <laughs> I don't know. Well, at the leave. same time i'm a lot more comfortable with my shoes off so yeah who's comfortable in shoes i would have no your problem mom? taking them off no my dad my dad likes to keep his shoes i see on. i think i feel like i see your mom more in shoes daily than i see your dad mm-hmm. yeah ba, ba, ba. neat okay. <laughs> so, kettle cooked or regular chips Ooh. I, I thought we had this question already we no i don't think had so a similar chip question but there's two very distinct things about these, or especially about kettle cooked. Mm-hmm. They're crunchy as shit. Yeah, they are. Yeah. If you got sensitive teeth like me, it's hard to get through. But I'll go kettle. I like kettle only because I, I like the I like kettle cooked, but it's also I f- I feel like it stops me from eating too many chips too. Yeah. I think you that's can, good. You can sit next to somebody and be really annoying with some kettle <laughs> chips. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, my my isn't, isn't the the uh, the ones from Jimmy John's? Those are kettle cooked, those aren't are kettle. they? Yep. Yeah. So I really like them. Uh, you like the say, jalapeno? I like ones. the jalapeno there's ones. A, yeah. There's an episode of of How I Met Your Mother where everybody's picking up on things that annoy them. Yeah, I remember that episode. And Lily is the loud cruncher. Yeah. Yeah. She's a loud. And Robin's chewer. like, my God, Lily, what are you eating? Gravel. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's right because like like it was it took what was it like she's just sitting there eating something regular and it just sounds like she's just, just like a, she's eating like a, a raw carrot yeah <laughs> i love how i've never mother. had an issue with like that's never been a pet peeve i'm starting to get the peeve of the that just annoys me that sound the smacking do you remember i, know I, you I never used to you didn't like it but the teenage ninja turtles 2 secret of the ooze um, about it. When they're in April's apartment watching the news story, um, Michelangelo's eating a candy bar. Yeah. And Raphael sits down next to him and he's like, hey, Mikey, you think you can crunch a little louder? I can still hear out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes. <laughs> yeah, he does. I remember that. Yeah, that's right at the beginning, right? <laughs> I didn't watch that one. Yeah, it's kind of in the middle. Yeah. What? And I don't think I've watched that one. You have you seen have. all of them. With the Super Shredder, Token yeah. on Razor. Yeah. Nope. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she gave no response nope. whatsoever. No Wavy or smooth chips? Wavy. Wavy. Especially if you're dipping them. Yep. Mm-hmm. What I, kind not, of dip I, do you like, though? I don't have. I don't like dip. What kind of dip? I think it's just. Uh, say there's a lot out sour there. Cream? Like that Dean's. <laughs> yeah, sour cream and French onion. French onion. That's yeah. it. Well, yeah. you can do that, or you can get like a cheddar d- I'm dip. I'm definitely or, not a salsa. You don't like salsa. I like salsa. Ooh, man. Well, you don't like any any vegetable. Correct. Like That's tomatoes. Yeah, I I, I don't sal- like tomatoes. I think salsa is a good like gateway. I like salsa. Gateway to liking vegetables, though. You start off because that's what it was when I hated veggies. Is I started to get like just the really really soupy like bandito's kind of salsa, and I would just dip and let it come like yeah, drip yeah, yeah. off. So you just want and the a, a, juice. Yeah, and I would just like the juice, and eventually, like I just started getting like the chunks the chunks like the all natural stuff and it just it's really good yeah like it's still like a texture thing because i don't like chunks of stuff chunky, in there but if you put wetness. enough chips with, <laughs> <laughs> if, you put, if you put enough chips with it chunky wetness <laughs> if you put enough chips with it it, it kind of balances it out I so agree. now i'm sitting there like no, I will, josh a, and i will go through a, a big ass bowl of salsa mm. now there's a ve- alex already wrote down a better one <laughs> all right there's a very dis- very distinct you know chip to dip ratio when you're eating that. depends on the type of salsa. it depends on the, I, the salsa i can't or dip you have a chip and have too much dip if i if i do then i gotta grab another chip that's okay alex will eat corn chips on her own or any chip on its own it's you, weird it's the weirdest thing i do also, not okay. eat plain corn chips i, I mean no to, way to, i guess to pause this real quick uh he thinks that me eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and having chips on the side is disgusting isn't what? it weird? No. Like Doritos? No. How is it's that not freaking th- weird? That's My not entire weird family all. thinks that's weird. Yeah, I. That's like uh, like I grew up having a PB and J and some chips. Just milk. You gotta have a side. No. Nah. No, I have to have like yes. some chips with it. The milk Actually, is the side. I like pretzels. I don't. It, pretzels is really it good to have with it too. Yeah. Or it like complements the peanut butter yes, real like, well. I, just try it, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, used to I love that look. She get, just try it, please. My, my sister and I used to actually put chips in our peanut butter and jelly sandwich and eat it. Weird. At the Two more, and then uh, we'll move on. Okay. Yeah, I love that this is bringing us discussion because it's really right. digging in. We could talk more about chips and sandwiches all day. This I think is going to be easy when peanuts or popcorn. Man. Hmm. It's probably not that easy. <laughs> I, I, I like peanuts, but popcorn all the way. Uh, what I kind know, of peanuts? If they're honey roasted, I'll go that route. If they're Spanish, I'll go that route. Maybe I don't. I don't, I don't enjoy popcorn much anymore. Really? It. I it, feel like I uh, back, back in the it. day it would be popcorn, but I, I'm leaning more towards peanuts now. Hmm. Only because well, popcorn makes my stomach hurt, and peanuts makes me feel good. <laughs> Alex has had bad experiences what do you with mean corn. Peanuts make you feel good. Like I peanuts feel, I feel good after eating peanuts oh, okay. versus popcorn. Peanuts yeah, have okay. a health level to it, uh, whereas it like, popcorn I feel is a good bit, after it. <laughs> Alex has had bad experiences with corn over the past too, few years. I've had way too many bad experiences with popcorn in general, like a lot of puking. We were just talking about <laughs> corn on the cob the other day. Like we were talking about what we can't get enough of of other of our family's foods. Like whenever we visit our, my, yeah, I got that for you, so you can mark your space. Um, whenever we go to my dad, my parents' place, or we ever go over to her grandmother's or whatever, because she was like, ta- she was bragging about the lasagna last. My night. My grandma makes amazing Cause lasagna. Because we went to Olive Garden uh, last night, and uh, she she ordered the lasagna there, and she's like, she bit into it, and then five seconds later, my grandma's is better. Like well, I mean, immediately just shut down her quality, own meal. But. Uh, well, that doesn't. There's some restaurants that are really good. I know, but it's 
I love my grandma's. I get it. I get it. So, uh, and then we were talking about, well, what's one thing that you can't get enough of of my dad's? And she's like, or what my dad cooks because that's he's the only guy. He's the only person I'm. He's the cook. Yeah, he's the cook. Um, and she's like, I don't know. I was like, you definitely like his corn on the cob because they pick the good the good stuff all the time. And this one year, Alex ate so much ate corn like on the cob. Six cobs in one sitting. Can you imagine? I can't believe you fit all that in there. On top of that, she had sun poisoning from being out on the lake, and she it came up that night. It was, she was bedridden for like 12 hours. It was bad. It was, yeah. We were on vacation. I was out in the sun and drinking. Yeah. <laughs> like, horrible combo. And then I came in, oh, no, and best. nobody else was eating the cobs, so I just was like, I more, was more. sucking on them. Like, they were just so delicious, and I probably had six cobs. Yeah. And then I puked it six all. Six years. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. The ear is when it's still on the stock. The cob is oh, when so it's, it's off. It's a cob when it's off. Yeah. Did yes. not know that. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I did not know that. Yeah. I I didn't no, really think of that until now. Oh. Pfft. All right. One more. <laughs> okay. Kinda, this one's kind of goofy, but go on. Mini corn dogs or regular size on a stick. Corn Mini. Dogs. I like the stick. Me too. <laughs> 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 and I'm done. <laughs> I like the mini corn dogs because they're it, you just dip it, it's in. Couple you don't bites. have to you don't have to bite on the stick cuz once you get to that I was point biting on the stick. Well, once you, you get, bite on the stick. No, I pull it out a little no, I, bit I, until I, I get that. to the stick. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting pretty bad. <laughs> what? I keep like I pulled the corn dog out. Like okay. this, I pulled the stick out Stop, a little listen. bit. Stop using hand gestures. No, it's the best. It's on YouTube. So this, I pull it out and then I bite into it. Oh so man, I, don't I can't wait stick. to use that for a thumbnail. All right. <laughs> All right. No, but seriously, like it, I've, I, when I was younger, I was like just chomping on some corn dog and bit right into the wood. You lost your spot. <laughs> 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 So, anyways, why are you laughing? I bit, I bit right into the wood. I bit right into the wood. It, the freaking stick, you know, it's like that long and it's like that thin, and it takes up three quarters of the damn hot dog. So it's like it, it just happens. Can you just bite until you feel the stick, and then pull? this is going the wrong direction with the way it sounds. <laughs> All right. No, but seriously, like I, I'll go either route, but I'll, I'll prefer mini or over the regulars. So, I'll yeah. Tell you what, uh, it's kind of like fair food, but. There, I mean, that's one of the, a good corn dog is really hard to beat. You Deep know? fried. Yeah. Deep fried. Ooh. Because you can get, you can get like frozen corn dogs mm-hmm. and they're fine, but they're not as mm-hmm. good. I was like oven bake them. <sighs> yeah. What? That sounds yummy. <laughs> corn dogs. That's all I got for either or. We better get yeah. moving. Yeah. I see that we're hitting, hitting some time here. Um, so on t- Monday. Was the 10 year anniversary? I, I think it was the 25th. Was, was it 25th? Didn't I message group chat yesterday? I, uh, you know what? You, do you want me to fact check? Sure. Let me look. Just look in group chat. Um, man, great news. Da da da. Man, this is some great conversation right here. Uh, Monday, I was right. Okay. Yep. 10 years ago, Halo 3 was released, and that's a that's significant to to that's significant all three to, of us to me. A lot. Well, it's how we stayed in touch with Brett when we moved uh, away. Yes, there's and, that. And uh, we played Halo and Left 4 Dead and stuff online. But Halo was your big one. That was my big break back into gaming. Yep. yep. Halo 3. Because I bought an Xbox 360 in the fall of 2008. And no, so, 8. 8. So Halo 3 was out a year before you played it? Mm-hmm. Oh. But yeah. that was still my first dual stick first person sure. shooter. And it really got me into it. Was Halo Three barbecue slap? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and and we don't have enough time to discuss stories on Halo. Brett wants to save it for well, another we might, day. I think we might. There, we I mean Halos. We've got so many, got so, so many, many stories. stories from playing Halo from uh, multiple different Halos that we could probably do our own episode on just Halo alone. Yeah, and and I like think we could do an aftercast on Halo when when they announce Halo Six, we could probably do an aftercast. Yeah. Or when it comes out or something. Yeah. That, that'd be really interesting. But uh, yeah, Halo brought us into the game. Halo culture. is what got me into... Competitive. Like, well, that... And, and we were also living in South Dakota at the time. So the thing to do in South Dakota was either go out drinking or stay at home, get on Xbox... And drink. And get a six pack and, and yep. drink. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Like, that's what it was. <laughs> I, 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 was, I always called it Drunken Halo because Drunken Halo that's nights. what we would do. We would yeah. get a, a few bottles of mics and just have just go to town. 
good time. Really fun time. I really enjoyed Halo uh, 3. And then when Halo Reach came out, I, I, I was so happy. You could Actually, sprint. that's what got me on to online gaming. It really, was. Because that was my first, my first time being online in gaming. What's your big memory on Halo? Halo or Halo 3? 3. Um, I, I remember I thought that it was going to be a big deal because it was on 360. It was the first Halo on 360. Mm-hmm. And it was good, but I don't think it blew me away like I thought it would, being mm-hmm. on the new console. Yeah. Um, but um, I played the multiplayer, but I just I was not very good because it was the first Halo. Well, no, it wasn't the first Halo. It was the first Halo that I played matchmaking multiplayer with. So okay. everybody's better than me, of course. I just didn't have fun with it like i did halo 2 and land parties okay i get that so, but there were some really good maps um and it was still i mean even what wasn't very good it was a lot of fun but yeah there are parts in the campaign that i i don't like as much it might be my least favorite main halo story campaign i think um i'm on you on that because i remember playing when halo 4 was coming out my friend Jer, our friend Jer and I, we we went through all three Halos before the fourth one came out to play the campaign, and I I launched two. I didn't play through it because it booted me off of Xbox Live. If it didn't do that while I was playing, I would have kept playing. You're talking about on the Master Chief Collection? No, I'm talking about the the original the actual. Yeah, I, I borrowed Halo Two from our friend Greg, and I popped it in. And if I would have stayed on the headset, being able to talk to people, I would have played it. But yep. it didn't allow me to. It boot, booted me off of Xbox Live for some reason. I don't know why. When you played backwards compatible stuff, yeah, it cuts you off basically mm. from xbox live it killed my experience i'll say that yeah. <laughs> thanks microsoft but yeah like uh halo 3 was great and we we've got a lot of stuff to touch on that some other time i'm sure um, we've got to get into i should clarify halo 5 campaign is the worst so mm. I, d- I didn't add that in it being my my well uh, it's be- it's yeah i, I agree uh, it's would y'all watch do we watch stuff. Um, I finished uh, season four of BoJack Horseman. Um, I that's a show I don't think you'd ever get into. No, Brett would not. It's enjoy just it. that like the thing you watched last week when I was here. I'm like, I can't watch this. It's uh, it was the philosophy of BoJack. Oh, okay. And yeah. when the thing you watched today, I'm like, that's I don't Rick and Morty. Think I could ever watch Rick and Morty. It's that's a head trip. It's, like, it it's, is. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going the first on? Here? Time, I can even tell you the very first time I saw an episode of Rick and Morty because I remember I was on my phone doing something while Josh was watching an episode, and it was the uh, Mr. Meeseeks episode. Oh, well, Mr. Meeseeks! And me. I was listening to it, and I finally just looked up and went, "What the fuck are you watching?" <laughs> I'm like, "This is scary." Yeah, and then I ended up watching like it. it, and I'm like, this, "Okay, it's actually really good." Like, yep. but Mr. Meeseeks scares me. Yeah. I'm I'm just gonna say it like he it's that he's too trippy yeah like, he's, he's it's creepy. way too trippy <laughs> but uh finished uh season four of bojack it's ended on a high note if those who have watched it you, you'd understand it feels like that kind of grabs one did you watch the season finale with me maybe i don't want to know it. i can't I it can't just came out like, it came out like a month ago so i don't want to spoil it but there is something that just came out yesterday that i still haven't watched yeah we know the first episode of season two of this, this is, is us, us. Yeah. yes and i have not watched it yet oh i need to watch it yeah and uh they, they were putting up trailers and stuff on youtube and there was like a after after the they show they always do they always do that like okay. it's an after the show like, kind of like what they do with walking dead yeah okay kind of kind of yeah and then uh thursday night we watched the latest episode of south park Mm-hmm. holy cow wow <laughs> um without going into much of political level on this they they touched on being on twitter and being on your phone while driving i mean all right so i mean the only politics i'm ever gonna say uh, opinion wise is that i think it's absolutely stupid that once you are you become somebody that represents our country you get off of social media Please yeah. do. Like, you you have just, a representative to do that, I, right? I, I feel like social media for like being on social media as you as a <laughs> elected official. Yes, yeah. you should stay away from it. And yeah. you know, our president is not exactly very bright on his Twitter. <laughs> so <laughs> well, South Park makes has no rules for himself. No, right? South Park makes this great this so public song. Oh about, my gosh. about it, and we're gonna show it to you after this. You, uh. We'll have to show you. I think we can. Well, we could probably uh, share it. 
on social media. I mean, if, if whoever wants to watch it, but it's a, uh, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, it, it, it also, it also brings, I like their episodes only because they spend 99% of the show making fun of a lot of stuff. And then the last like percent of the show, they show you why, why this is so stupid. Yes. And to bring light on, this is really a thing. What is our society coming exactly. to? Exactly. Like as, they spend the whole entire episode going, this is so freaking stupid it's funny and then they go no seriously this is like this is what why we have to make this kind of an episode and show and, and then the good and the bad and they explain it all and sum it up in one exactly one thing and, and within 22 minutes they can do that that's just yeah, the craziest it is i sh- i know i like south park a lot it's, so, just, it's fun sometimes it, they're over the top but i like this south park. most recent one was hard to get through because of all the the cars hitting kids it's it like I said, sometimes they take it over the top. <laughs> they, they, they like to hit that bar and go way but above that's what it a little That's bit. what they do, though. That's, yep, that's yep. what they're known and for. Tra- uh, it's cartoons. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it was good. Uh, you watched anything? I watched Die Hard with a Vengeance. I've been Ooh. thinking about watching some Die Hard movies lately. Can never go wrong watching Die Hard. And I, uh, yes, you can. I just noticed. Five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just noticed in that, in Die Hard with a Vengeance, there's not a gun... Like he doesn't pull out a gun and and need to shoot anybody till well into the movie. Yeah, when he's in the elevator, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's the first time. And it's bloody. <laughs> it is bloody. It's Especially very bloody. At the very end when he ends up having to, you know, look away yes. and yeah. shoot the guy. But there's a funny part towards the end where the big uh, guy Targo is beating him up. Mm-hmm. Well, somehow they didn't show, I'm guessing they, there was more to the fight, but they only showed the front part and the last part because at the end then he's beating him up and he's got the chain. Yeah. He goes, you ever see the guy? You ever see the Adams family? There's a big motherfucker on there named Lurch <laughs> <laughs> hitting him with the chain. The <laughs> you just got to love John McClane. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bruce Willis played that part very well. And yeah. so many other people were meant to play it. Do you remember hearing about all the people that they actually wanted to bring in? No. Uh, we'll have to touch on this when we get more into Christmas season because Die Hard is it's a Christmas, Christmas film. Movie. It so is. So the only other thing I watched, is I actually started yesterday watching Happy Gilmore on my lunches. Oh, I love Happy Gilmore. And there's one part that I love every time, and it's when he's at the first pro event, mm-hmm. and he mm-hmm. takes a swing and he misses, and it cuts to the the president's office mm-hmm. and it's it's beep, beep, fuck beep, me beep, in the beep, fucking beep. head you yeah. just tell that's what he starts with it just goes on and on and on for at least a like just a couple beep, minute beep, conversation beep, 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 beep. you know and then it ends he's like fuck you my cage. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you play it where it lies fuck you <laughs> It's I so love Happy Gilmore. Adam Sandler kind of went downhill. I, I like some of his films are throwaway. His classics are still good. And oh always, yeah. Always what, when good. was the cutoff for you? Probably click. click. Like that was a bad one. No, I don't think it would. It's anything after that? Anything after Click? Well, I I can't say. Well, because you, you like Grown Ups. I like Grown Ups. Well, I, I like Grown Ups, but I think like Click was the major. And I liked The thing. Longest Yard. That was before Click. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. As long as Shar was 04 and I click, uh, click. I think click was like 07. 07 is what I want to say. Yeah, is it's probably close seven. to that. But I, I didn't I like remember. Little Nicky. You, know? you didn't like Little Nicky? Oh, I like yeah. Little Nicky. Little Nicky's a little over the top. But and, I, and I really liked um, the one, the Disney one, the bed, bed. Oh, bedtime stories? stories. I, I never that saw that. Great. I, I started watching. I don't think I got through it, though. Yeah. Uh, Russell Brand's in that and. He's pretty funny in it too. And Russell Brand, he he used to be popular. He's he kind of <laughs> yeah. he, uh, kind, of, kind of crazy. Yeah, um, playing. I am playing some Rocket League, and I'm going to town on playing some online. I am I'm just killing it now. I'm I'm finally ranked. I, I got the achievement for that. So uh, I've been kind of just looking into what can I get achievements on here now. That's kind of simple for me to do, but um, I'm digging it. Alex really wants to talk about what she's been playing and she's really excited. B.O. Shock. Yes. B.O. Shock. (laughs) (laughs) She's got B.O. So real quick, that reminds me um, over the weekend I was able, I was at my mom's house and we were talking, I was talking to her about Bioshock and she goes, isn't that that game that you guys used to play on the 64 that I was really upset that uh, my friend got you? So whenever we talked about 64, I said that the games that I had were um, Mario Kart 64, DK, and I said I got this like monster fighting game and I could never figure out what the name of it Tekken? was. No, but yeah. I, we never figured it out. 
I finally figured it out. What is All it? All I had to do was ask my brother. I can't wait to Google it's it. It's called Bio Freaks. <laughs> Interesting. Yes, and as soon as I Googled it, I was like, oh my God, I've been talking about this for two years. <laughs> I'm like, I cannot believe it. Like, after all this time, all I could describe is like, there are people that, yes, bio freaks. I remember that cover. <laughs> yes. So I do. my mom's friend, like we called him like, like he was pretty much like an uncle. His name was Big Jake. He bought us that and she's like, I absolutely hated it because it was like all this gory, bloody stuff. And you It guys, was rated mature. I know, but he bought us the game and <laughs> I was like, mom, it wasn't that bad. Wow. She goes, oh, you know, you guys were like 10 years old playing it. I'm like, we loved it (laughs) but like okay so anyways but that's why i was she's like it was called bioshock wasn't it and then she typed it into google and saw a 64 bioshock cover and i'm like yeah that's bioshock and then i called jacob up the stairs my brother and he's like no that's a that's bio freaks and as soon as he said i was like are you freaking kidding me (laughs) you've been talking about that for years yes i could never remember it i remember that (laughs) it's it's not exactly a it was a one-hit wonder (laughs) so you you played the first bioshock right yes what did you think of it honey um i'm gonna tell you that like i think i talked about this last week i played the first half or uh, oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. you you drop down the difficulty yes to enjoy it yes so now that i did that i it was i had to we watched like a bioshock in five minutes episode because she missed because i really missed most of it because i was too frustrated and wasn't playing paying attention to stuff i understand the um would you kindly part it kind of was a surprise (laughs) um i will say that my review on the game it's it's definitely in a fantastic game but the very end of it i beat in a minute yeah. yeah she killed it like josh looks over and goes oh you're gonna want to prepare for this and i i like it was pretty much like a bowser boss could you imagine doing that super easy like i figured out do this he goes back up in there you grab this and a couple could you minutes imagine I doing that it. at a harder point could you imagine that on a harder difficulty i could probably do it on expert Brr, i doubt that and let's try to see you get through that i wanted a challenge it's the the end of the game and yeah. that was the i c- i had a more difficult time beating a big daddy than him well with different dif- different difficulty no even on the same di- like it's just it was mm. not it was very easy to catch on to it was kind of like the you know jump on the head three times and you kill bowser yeah like that's <laughs> I, I didn't that was the only part i didn't enjoy right. i like i got the good ending if anyone's wondering i got the good ending where he marries um, all of the, the sisters they all have wedding rings i don't think he marries them i'm pretty sure he has one too and he's a polygamist i don't, I don't know. know i don't know that's don't, that's what ign said i think that they all got married and had like because not all of them have wedding rings oh i don't know but anyways i really enjoyed it and that's when um earlier in this conversation joss was talking about whether or not i wanted to start the stick of truth and i decided you know what nope i am already in, invested in bioshock so i started too and I'm, I want to say because of how many hours I've already played, I probably in about like at least a third into the game. And I like this one as of right now more than the first Bioshock only because I, I'm playing it on an easier level and I am gathering all the loot and I'm finding all of the collectibles and like I'm kind of doing the Tomb Raider thing where like, I'm grabbing everything. I'm getting achievements. Like I'm really invested in the game. And your little sister. And I love the are, little sister. Are your friends. <laughs> yes. I like, I like being a big daddy. Like, it's it's fun. Infinite's going to throw you for a loop. I'll tell you that. That's what everybody tells me. <laughs> yes, it's really good. Everyone's really, really anxious to hear my, my thoughts on three. So I'm trying to push my way through two. Yeah. But I really like it so far. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. So. It's a big, it's a, it's a big cult following and you can see why I was so I can see why. invested in it. It's really, it's a good, it's yeah. really good. Yeah. You playing anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> so just uh just mad every now and then still going back to it yeah yeah we did play some destiny 2 finally oh i forgot about destiny 2 for like four hours <laughs> yeah yeah we played we played some strikes we All played right. played some played pvp the, and we played some campaign and yeah we kind of played a little bit of everything yeah. they're bringing back back factions now mm-hmm. this week so dead orbit all the way yeah dead i'll orbit. just say that like, I are, like you, dead are you orbit. gonna do dead orbit? i'll probably do dead orbit i'll yeah. check out what it's more like what attracts me to the faction there's a future war cult dead orbit and another one I don't there's remember. some other thing i don't remember what it's called this is all gibberish to yeah, Brett. <laughs> um but anyways so i mean again the reason why we didn't get to play is because our our friend had to go travel yeah he'll be back again, though he's tomorrow like, night <laughs> and we've got the weekend we've got the it's weekend nice. so we'll, we'll believe I'll, me i'll bounce be back huge. and forth between bioshock and destiny 2 yes um so yeah, it's uh, every time I get online, get on and on my uh, my home screen on Xbox, I see Bioshock 
And then I see Destiny 2 and I'm like, God, God damn it. <laughs> I want to play Destiny 2. <laughs> I'm not as invested into 2 as I was in 1. It doesn't feel like home to me. I am. Well, I, and the other thing too that really grabs me for uh, Bioshock 2 is like the upgrade. Like uh, visual, visual. The visual aid. upgrade and the fact you can do plasmids and guns at the same time. I don't really care about that. But it's nice you can be reloading and shoot electricity at whatever. I you guess. Know. I don't know. I think it's okay. Do we have anything else to touch on? No? Nope, that's mm-hmm. it. We're good at t- well, we're good at- do you want to say something about your nephew real quick? Oh, it was just like a funny story that happened. Um, I don't know. If, I can't remember if I told you guys or not, but I think I did. I was just... I was, Someone thought it was like... It was hilarious. Um, my nephew started uh, kindergarten um, not too long ago, whenever school started, like a month ago. And uh, right now, he's actually at home with pneumonia. So, he's not doing too good. Yeah. Um, but he he says the darndest things at five and a half, and he is he's I feel like he is very smart for his age, probably too smart that I think that he's going to be kicked out of kindergarten, <laughs> and um, in a good way. Uh, I went over there probably a week or two after he started, and he was drawing something. And my sister said I was asking, him, oh, you know, how how was school and all this other stuff, and he really likes it. He's making friends, and so what are you learning? And my sister answered the question and said, you know what, they have weekly tasks, and this week they have to learn how to write their name and count to thirty. And he turns over. He's got such a cute attitude. He like turns over his shoulder and looks at me, and he's like, but I already know how to do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was like, that's that's nice. That's nice. What else? and we were talking and then um she said he was drawing me a picture and she said why don't you go downstairs and get the little reading books and show her that you can at least read this and that and he goes no because i'm drawing and she goes well you can still do it and he goes no mom i can't do that that's multitasking and i was like you don't even know what multitasking multitasking is and he looks over at me again with his little smirk he's like yes i do i'm like what is it he's like it's where you can't do uh, more than two things at once and i'm like that's it. Bam. <laughs> like Shut the, te- the teacher is going to love him and hate him. <laughs> like, like I just got like owned by my five and a half year old nephew. <laughs> I just realized something guys. I- I'm looking at the calendar here because we're going to be, uh, when we close out, I got to talk about t-shirt Tuesday, but there's another Friday the 13th in October this year. Oh really? Yep. It's happening. I can see um, it. Also, uh, they released the release date for the se- it, sequel. It, uh, part 19. two. 2019 yep did you say Se- september, september 19th september 2019 yeah yep. yeah so i don't remember the actual the date yeah that's in two years alex <laughs> got some time yeah i don't know if they need that much time between those though plug should... it in are we good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i think i think we're good so first off t-shirt tuesday uh who was the winner da- uh, danny the cody. Danny, danny cody, cody podcast, podcast. Uh, they, you guys are the winner. One of you two, you can fight it over, or you can just order one and just tack it up on your wall or whatever. Right? <laughs> do what you want. <laughs> do, do what you want to do. It's decoration. Uh, uh, so you guys won. Uh, make sure you message us on that. You got to listen to win. Of course, we're not going to message you guys on it, and we've been keeping it that way the entire summer, and we're going to keep doing that. I'm going to sneeze here. Uh, <laughs> we're going to keep doing that from here on out. Um, so on October 3rd, which is t- a Tuesday, that is T-shirt. Tuesday starts back up again. Just make sure you check out our Twitter. We're going to be posting it and pinning it to the top of our Twitter, sharing it to both of our social medias. So make sure you, you watch out for that if you want to get entered in. Uh, if you lost, you know what? You got another chance. There's another month coming up. So it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Uh, so without further ado, guys, it's time to plug it in. So remember, guys, if you are listening to us, there are other apps you can find us on as well. We are on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, Podcast Addict, Blueberry, TuneIn, Satchel, the Xbox One Podcast app, Google Play Music, and Podbean. I was say, I hope you're adding that one. I, I, Podbean. I, that's why I paused at the end. I was like, what's that called again? <laughs> <laughs> Podbean. We are on there as well. So if any, if you're on any, if you have any of those on your on your mobile, on your PC, whatever. Go for it. You Listen to us. us. You can add us. Yes. And we thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to all that you do. The ratings on iTunes, the reposts on SoundCloud, the subscribing on YouTube. We thank you guys very much for doing that. Um, and of course, uh, if, you, if we, we, I just mentioned YouTube. You want to see us on YouTube? Every Monday afternoon, we're posting our videos up there of our most recent podcast. So make sure you look out for that as well on our social media. Or if you just click subscribe and you click on the little bell that tells you when, you're, when we're uh, going to be up there or when it's up there and uh you'll get notified 
just watch out for that um if you guys want to hear us on exploded radio we're there tuesday nights on exploded.com or on the tune in app at 6 p.m central 7 eastern they play our most recent episode on there they also play some interesting music uh what what i like to hear is our promos that we recorded <laughs> yeah. last year i really enjoyed hearing that because we we are not sound very professional <laughs> we are not a scripted group no. And we scripted ourselves, and it, it took We did it some in like time. 10 takes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was rough. It was rough. Um, if you want to follow us on any of our social media apps, as I previously stated, we are on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash PTO Unlimited. Instagram is PTO Unlimited underscore podcast. We're also on Twitter, which is at PTO Unlimited. If you ever want to catch us live on any of our, uh, on those social media apps right there, we are there Wednesday nights at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is uh, when we do our precast meeting, where you can chime in, give us top to talk about uh chat with the community and stuff like that and uh you know just just see what we're into sometimes we do a conversation on there that we don't do on the podcast so it's a it's a it's a fun thing to do uh if you ever want to email us about any topics you want to talk about as well uh you can email us at ptounlimited at gmail.com if you ever want to follow me on twitter i am at lemke 619 brett underscore wings cute underscore kitty all right let's get out of here i gotta sneeze it's happening <laughs> i don't want to do it on mic <laughs> thanks so, for wa- th- uh, listening watching. thanks for listening and watching uh make sure you check out that gofundme guys uh yes, for kyle, kyle uh, all right bye, bye.